Hi everyone, in this video, I'd like to show you how to create a cool Power BI feature which will enable us to right click to drill through and retrieve detailed supporting information behind our charts or our table. For our demonstration today, I will be utilizing Microsoft Sales and Marketing Sample Report which you can download from Power BI Surface for free so you can use them for practice. Let me show you a report that I recently downloaded from Power BI Surface Sales and Marketing Sample Reports. It has three pages, really, really nice looking reports. And what I want to explore today is this right click drill through features. So you can see when you hover, it says right click to drill through. What does that mean? Let's give it a go. Right click that appears and just drill through and click the detailed info and voila it brings you to this page where you can see the products and manufacturer the sales and unit sold and roi associated with online channel and there is a back button in there that can bring you back to the original reports so it provides supporting information so let's just try this right click drill through detailed information and that's the detailed of the store channel and again you can click that awesome isn't it so anytime you are thinking oh why is that low why is that high you can just right click it and drill through to get more detailed information now, interestingly this detailed page is not one of the three visible pages shown in this report. There are three Power BI concepts that you need to understand. Concept number one, a page can be shown or hidden in Power BI. When a page is hidden, it is not visible in Power BI Surface content page, but it is present in the background and you can see them in Power BI Desktop. Let's look at the PBIX desktop file. And as you can see, we have a hidden page called the detailed info. It has this sign and if you right click it, you can see that the hide page option is ticked. Concept number two, we can set up drill through functionality in Power BI by creating a detailed table that has a common field with the charts that we want to drill through from. For example, in this instance, our chart is sales by channel. Our table has a channel field manufacturer, product, sales, unit sold, and ROI. Therefore, the common field is channel. These are the charts that we want to drill through from. And this is the table that has all the detailed information. The most important thing that we need to find out is what's the common field between the detailed table and the other charts. If there is no common field, drill to one work. There must be a common field. Fortunately, in this instance, there is a common field, which is channel. Concept number three, the common field need to be entered in the drill through section of the detail table. This is a key step and the most important step. If you don't do this, the drill through won't work and the drill through options will not appear on your chart. Let me show you. We need to put channel in the detailed info drill through section, which is in here. Can you see there is channel there, which is the common field. Now, if we remove this temporarily, you will notice that the drill through no longer work. There is no more option to drill through in here. So how do we put it back? Very simple. We know that the common field is channel. So all we need to do is drag channel back into this drill through field section. Once we have done that, drill through option is there. And let's just check that. Right click and here we are. Next, let's also explore the different drill through options available in Power BI such as the difference between setting keep all filters on or off, as well as the difference between setting cross report on or off. We have an option to keep all filters option on or off. When it's turned on, 
the filtering that happens from the page that we drill through from will be carried forward to this page. Let's have a look at the page where we drill through from. In here, we may have some filtering sets. Whatever filtering that we set in here will be carried forward to the other page if we set that option on. So let's just try that. I'm going to apply a filter in here and I'm going to select manufacturer equal to ABUS. So now I am not including other manufacturer and let's try to right click and drill through. Now, notice this table is now a short table that only give me products that came from a bus manufacturer. Now I'm going to show you what happened if I don't keep all filters on. I'm going to turn it off. And then I'm going to go back, click that back button and I'm going to drill through again. So no changes in here in the main page is still filtered through manufacturer equal to a bus. When I drill through, Look at this, I have a longer list showing all manufacturer, not just a bus. Why is that? Because in this page, the filtering of manufacturer is everything. The filtering, which was only for a bus is not being tapped by this page because we have set keep all filters as off. Let's explore cross report. There is an option here to turn it off or to turn it on. What does it mean? When cross report is turned on, Power BI will enable us to drill through across different reports. Earlier in our example, we have been operating in one PBIX report where we click the charts and tables and it allows us to open a detailed page by drilling through it. We can have a different report with different charts in it and imagine we can also click the chart and it will then open up a detailed page that sits in a completely different PBIX file. Let me show you. Let's look at this simple Power BI report that I have published in Power BI Surface. It only has one page. It has this donut chart which I can right click to drill through and it will bring me to a new file. Detailed info in sales and marketing, sample drill through. This is the file that we worked on earlier. Turning on cross report, I open a different report and I can see the detailed page in there. Now, how do I go back? I cannot click that button, but what I can do is I can click the back from my browser. And voila, I'm back to my original report. So how do we enable cross report drill through in Power BI? First, both reports need to be published in the same workspace in Power BI Surface. Cross report doesn't work in Power BI Desktop. It will only work when the reports are both published in Power BI Surface in the same workspace. Very important. Secondly, drill through need to be enabled in the destination table, i.e. the detailed table. Let's go back to our Power BI Desktop. This is the destination table. Make sure the cross report is turned on. This is a very important step. Thirdly, common field must exist. Similar to normal drill to, there must be a common field in the page that you are drilling from and the detail page that you are drilling to. For example, we have channel being the common field in here. And number four, drill through need to be enabled in both files report 1 and report 2. To be done via report setting in PBIX desktop file, it needs to be done prior to publishing the file to Power BI Surface. Let me show you how to do that. Now let's go to our first report, the one that has the detailed information. Go to file and go to options and settings, go to options and go to current file at the bottom and the last option report setting scroll down make sure cross report drill through is tick and then hit ok hit save and hit publish that's the first report done and then go to the second report this is my report number two that has a simple chart there is no detailed page in here and do the same thing go to file 
options and settings, options, and then wait until it pop up. Go to the very bottom, current file, report settings, and then click that. And look for cross report drill through. Make sure it's tick. If it's not tick, tick them, and then hit OK. Hit save and publish to Power BI Surface. Make sure you publish both files in the same workspace. And that's it. Once you have done that, go to Power BI Surface, right click and drill through. Voila. And remember to go back, just hit that back button in your browser. And you're back to your original. And that's it. Happy drilling through. Congratulations, you have now reached the end of this video and have learned to set up various drill through options in Power BI. To keep things simple, my recommendation is to keep the default setting as cross report off and keep all filters on as your starting point until you have fully mastered both options. See you next time.